Hello everyone, welcome to your Twin Flame reading for November 2022 with me, Eva Spirit. This is a reading for those of you who are on your way or desiring to uh, unite with your divine partner. This reading is going to be focused on trying to help you relieve any blockages, you or your person, give you advice, support, guidance, all those sorts of things. I'm going to start with some oracle cards and then we're going to go in with the tarot. So, thank you so much for watching, and let's get started. Messages regarding twin flames, those who are wanting to unite with their divine partner at this point in time. What is the message? What do they need to know? What's going to help them, please? Let's tune into the guides. Yes. one came fell on the floor <laughs> i'll get it in a sec usually i take three cards out thank you and thank you okay so we'll take these three one sec guys let me see okay the first card we wow the first card we got and actually they're wanting me to show you the card that flipped over on the deck this is love yourself first the card says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So what's being highlighted here is the understanding that first you must always fill your own cup. It's not first about others, it's first yourself, understanding that you are an extension of everything around you. But I think for a lot of people, it must be, it seems to be that a lot of people are in a space where, especially when wanting to connect with a partner, they kind of make it all about the other person. So uh, this is a reminder for you to be aware that uh, taking care of yourself is paramount, um, getting yourself ready for yourself. Um, they're also highlighting uh, enjoying your own company, okay? Loving yourself, liking yourself, um, doing things just for you because because you love yourself, like taking yourself out to dinner, buying yourself something nice, um, and then starting, it's kind of like an advice what I'm getting from the guides, starting from that point and kind of working your way out. Um, this is seems to be where the guides are wanting um, us to start from at this point. So if you're somebody that you you feel like you focus a lot on this idea of manifesting a partner um, because you want to distract yourself from the fact that you don't have a good relationship with yourself. This is something that's not going to help you bring in your partner, okay? So just be aware of that. The next card we, yeah, we've got is deception. And the card says, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Wow, I just said that, right? So so this is obviously a clear message that for a lot of people watching this, um, it, it seems kind of uh, strange and contradictory in a way, but, but really uh, the way to bring in your divine partner is to focus more on yourself. Bring the attention back. Um, sometimes looking in the mirror is very difficult. Um, it's almost like I'm getting this energy here where someone is pretending that they're okay with something that they're actually not okay with. Uh, I'm also hearing the guide say that um, it's really important to be honest with yourself. When you act from love or self-love, you don't judge. So you can allow yourself to be honest, uh, the truth of how you feel in a situation. Um, a lot of times it's our judgments about these um, beliefs, these feelings we have that actually prevent us from really um, sitting in it and thus healing it. So um, if you can just focus on like not judging yourself or becoming aware of those judgments you have, it's gonna help you really get to the truth of how you feel with things. Um, maybe you judge yourself about this, maybe you're, you're concerned about other people's judgments, right? But there is a bit of, um, it's kind of like energy being in different spots or energy being split is what I'm seeing. And the guides are really saying that it's important to uh, kind of bring yourself together. And the way that you do that first, the first step is really starting to be honest with yourself. 
The next card we've got is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So what I'm getting here is that it's not going to take long. The more you focus on filling your own cup, your own relationship, being truly transparent and honest with yourself. And uh, they're also saying, don't make something wrong. So if uh, you want this or you don't like this, don't make it wrong, uh, especially in those beginning stages where you're just getting your kind of reuniting with yourself, right? And I see um, something speeding up with regards to a connection. Um, um, getting into a space where you can actually see yourself. They just said the word vision. So it's like having visions of your partner, it becoming clearer um, and you feeling it a lot more. So have faith and know that along this road, there is engagement. There is a higher level of commitment. And the last card you got is express your love which says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, there will come a time along this journey where you'll naturally want to step out in some way. So it's kind of like, um, they just gave me the word hibernation. Um, taking that time to get to know yourself, right? This month. And then, um, so, yeah, they, okay, they're saying butterfly metamorphosis. Okay, so it's kind of like re-emerging, re-emerging back out into the world. Um, you'd be amazed how quickly things line up when your energy is aligned. Usually when things take, take a long time or you're really, it's like really tricky to do, it's usually because you're trying to force it or rush it. Express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. The time will come to step out and someone will be there. Really nice. It's really promising to see that um, that the guides are showing that to have faith that uh, the more you focus on yourself, the more you bring love in. Yeah. And they're also saying about showing up as an equal to your partner is going to be really important. Being aware of uh, what you want in a partner and, and are really asking yourself if you can mirror that back. I'm just going to get a final card from the Tarot and see what the guides have to say. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, look, we've got the Eight of Wands. See? Quick movement. Good. Also, Eight is representative of getting into your power as well. Look at that. We've got... Um, the Knight of Wands as well. Eight of Wands and the Knight of Wands. This is quick energy too, okay? This is also excitement and passion. I see sort of like, um, it's like laying the groundwork. It's like, it's kind of like when you create passive streams of income, you do the work first and then you just reap all the rewards. And also eight is the number of harvesting. So that makes sense. You've also got the page of pentacles. So this is the beginning of forming something new. I'm getting the sense that some of someone may be moving or changing up their home or changing up their, their lifestyle. This is really connected with your space or your environment. Maybe you're going to be changing up your room, your apartment, your house, what have you. They're also showing me a garden as well uh, to bring in fresh energy. Uh, I'm also hearing to call in. Some I'm getting a message as well that someone is interested in um, working with the elements, okay? There's something learning about, I don't know, like witchcraft or paganism in the good sense of the word, you know, like there's, there's very... Um, uh, beautiful information um, in, in these kind of sectors. So I'm getting that somebody's really interested in learning more about this and, and working with nature and working with the elements as well. Perhaps this is going to be uh, connected in some way to your partner. All right. So have faith. The more you focus on yourself, the more you draw things into you. And I do see love coming in. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.